Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Next.js app directory. I will not be naming the versions from now on because there are two versions, 13 and 14, and there is no much difference. Both uses the app directory. So I'll be using Next.js app directory. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can update our Next.js from version 13 to version 14. So this is going to be pretty short video. Before moving further, I just want to let you know, guys, I have updated the name of my playlist from Next.js 13 tutorials with the app directory. And I'm getting messages from some of my subscribers that create videos using the Next.js 14 version now. And you can see that I've already created almost 35 videos using Next.js 13 version. So just want to let you guys know that there is no much difference in terms of the app directory folder structure and the way we handle the client component or the server components in both of these versions you can still watch my videos even if you have created your next.js project using the latest version which is the 14 you can see that i've created different project level videos and different concepts which are required to become a good Next.js developer using the app directory. It includes Redux context API, server actions, connection with MongoDB, best practices for handling use effect, use reducer, use states, debugging, the stand, different projects, e-commerce, blog applications, SEO, and a lot more things. Complete authentication system using Next Auth in Next.js version 13 or 14, you can call it anything. So you can still follow the same videos even if you are using the Next.js 14. So you guys can see that I'm putting a lot of effort creating these videos for you guys. So it will really encourage me to create more videos for you guys if you subscribe my channel and like this video. So let's get started updating the project which I have already created. I've created the tutorial for this project as well. It is an e-commerce website using Stripe payment and it is currently with the version 13.5.4. So I'm going to show you how we can update all the different required packages to version 14. So first of all, you need to update your node version. So if I go to the node website, you can see that the recommended for most user version is the 20, which I've already installed. So if I show you in my terminal, the version I have, so this is the version, which is the 20. I have this version of NPM installed in my system. If you're using NVM, let me show you. These are all the different versions of node already installed using an NVM. If NVM does not show you uh, the updated version, you can use the NVM and then you can install and the latest version to 20 and once you will install it you can write nbm use and the name of that version it can be 18 or 20 if you want to use uh, the latest version of node and npm all right so i hope that you have already installed the latest node and npm version now we need to install few packages in fact update few packages for the next for the es config fig next and also for the typescript as well to make it compatible okay so first of all what we need to do is i'm going to come over here let me clear this out first of all and it will be npm i for install and then i will be writing next at latest i will hit enter all right so it has updated the version of 14 over here and uh, now we need to update the some other packages as well. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to write npm i and I'll be writing react at latest and I need to install react dom at latest and then I will be installing es lint hyphen config hyphen next at latest. I'll hit enter. So it's going to update these packages as well to the latest version. So you can see that it has updated the version of uh, React, React DOM, and also ESLit config. And if you are using TypeScript, since I'm already using TypeScript in this project, we need to update two more packages. So I will be writing npm i, and I will be writing at types forward slash React at latest i'll hit enter so this has been updated one last package that i need to update is types slash react dom at latest so this is for typescript if you are using it now 
our project is updated from version 13 to 14 and that's it now let me run the project to see if it's working fine as before when it was having the version 13 so it's currently running on localhost column 3001 so this is what i'm already running you can see that it's loading up the ui and there is no error so our project is updated from version 13 to 14. so guys i'm working on some more videos using the next.js version 14 that includes some advanced authentication system in next.js 14 app directory structure some project based tutorials so i would really appreciate if you subscribe my channel and like this video thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next upcoming videos